you had a pretty nonlinear life. Your parents were professors. You have done a lot of sort of incredible things that many would say kind of like, how the hell are you going to get this done? Is there advice you can give to young people today, like high school, college, about uh, how to do, uh, how to live a similarly nonlinear crazy life and accomplish, be as successful as you have been? About whether it's just their career or life in general. The greatest gifts I've been given have come from pursuing curiosity. Just trying to understand the thing you're curious about and allowing yourself to be curious about it and just going with it. And also pursuing things that are like deeply joyful for me. Not what society wants, but you just personally, mm -hmm. just on your own, you're happy that you And that's it. something that in the times when I've strayed from that, my life has been harder, right? So it, it's fundamentally, what are we on earth to do, you know, to live and thrive. And so pursuing things that are curious and satisfying and interesting and joyful and allow me to, to grow. So the... I made a number of choices to do things that were more complicated and kind of not not considered like cool at the time, although now it's cool to work on farms. It wasn't when I started my career in animal agriculture. And it was like, but just deeply interesting to me. And I felt like there was just lots to learn. And so that's been the 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 path for me is like going for something that's like curious and hard and kind of sticking with it and being open to it and growing elements that give me joy through that. So I also, you know, for people who are starting out in their careers and want to do something different too, it's like get out of your comfort. Go to a place that you've got something to learn from and let it teach you that. And you'll, you'll get beat up. Like I got beat up by that experience. Like it was really hard. You know, I laugh about now working for <laughs> in Sicily for cheese me. I mean, like, and the funny experiences I had there, but it was hard. I was lonely. I cried a lot. It was stressful. It was like, it was hard. It was really hard. When you inside of it, you didn't know how it's going to turn out. You didn't know it's going to turn and out I'm well. I'm like, why didn't I get a job right. doing something that all my friends are doing? And, and it, and, and I didn't speak the language I had to learn foreign language and learn how to function. And, and it, it like, it was very lonely and very challenging, but then that's where my resilience started to grow. Right. So the things I learned there ended up just being about resilience and understanding the language of subtlety and meaning. So that's something that's carried me through my life. But it was a curiosity about cheese making and about like just <laughs> living in a village that was there. I'm like, wouldn't it be amazing just live in a really yeah. rural village? And then you just went with it. And I just like, this seems incredible and and have a place where you can, you know, and these like the, 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 the people seem interesting, the food seems good. And let's just like try this and see what I can learn. And that, like, putting yourself out of your comfort zone in a place where you have a chance to learn and grow is is the, the secret. Because it's, you grow through discomfort. Mm -hmm. You know, people think that you grow when you get into this environment where everything's, like, kind of sailing along. But, like, growth actually comes through pain. You know, it's like, you, you, you know, growth comes from being cut down and beat down and having to re regrow mm -hmm. and double down. And so that kind of that kind of opportunity you have to seek it out you have to put yourself in the line of fire a bit if the situation sucks it's a sign that you might be doing something right <laughs> in the sense that you're on a path at the end of which you'll be a better person if you allow yourself to grow in that way like as opposed to resisting it just uh going along with the journey and persevering